Hi, <clears throat> welcome to the uh, encapsulation of my last Sunday talk on words, being specific and being direct. This talk was given on May 23rd, and uh, this is an encapsulation of these ideas. Now, the first idea that I wanted to really express is that people who are nonspecific and indirect in their communications, uh, and also their communications with God, tend to suffer from what we call unintended consequences. Those are things that happen to us and we're not quite sure why they happen to us. But part of the reason that happens is, is, as I said on Sunday, was that we tend to live in two camps. And one camp we are probably more prone to live in than another camp. And one of those camps, of course, is what we call reactive thinking versus proactive thinking. Now, a reactive person, of course, is only ready to respond, but never takes the initiative to start anything. And that is a safe place to be, they think, because if they don't have to start anything, then all they, can, all they have to do is just simply render their opinions, and then, of course, they get to be right, they get to make everybody else wrong. Or they get to make people right that they want to make right. But the problem is they never start anything, because to start something means you have to actually go through the experience of either failing at something or having something not work to your expectation, in which case you would have to start to refine. So a proactive person lives in a very specific and direct world, but they live there with the consciousness of, of knowing that there's a power within them that's seeking to mature, manifest within them as they grow, so too does it grow in their ability to use it. And we're talking about the power of God, of course. So here's the way it tends to work in people's behavior patterns. People a lot of times become frustrated, and then they pretend that what they're frustrated about doesn't matter, and then uh, almost unknowingly to them, they start to manipulate their lives or manipulate situations to try and compensate for that sense of frustration. And what happens there, of course, is that they live in this reactive mode, and when they're constantly reacting to life like that, they can't really make any progress or any growth. So they're, they're many times uh, feeling right, but also feeling bored, feeling uninspired, non-expressed. And, they, and they're always looking for something to inspire them, so they're looking for things outside of themselves that have energy that they can feed on, so to speak. But the, the person who is specific and direct in their language has the most important reason to be specific and direct, of course. They have a vision of what they, of what they want to create or initiate. Now, with vision, you have what I call as SDI. You're specific, you're direct, and you're intentional. Now, when you're specific, direct, and intentional, of course, you rise above all the other average, mediocre people who are wanting to react all the time, and you start to have your idea then subject to the opinions and feelings and judgments of others. That's okay. It's no problem with that. As long as you have the consciousness that understands that the feedback you're going to get is going to help you refine the idea as long as you keep taking the initiative. But if you start to sink you know, and, and, and start to diminish yourself and your presence in the world because you, you sort of can't take the heat, so to speak, because being rejected by others or being, uh, uh, you know, uh, judged by others is is really uh, a terrible feeling but if you have a direct relationship with god you recognize that that is simply just the reaction of the world it's a normal reaction it's also the reason why most people aren't specific and aren't, aren't direct and why they're not specific and indirect because it sort of feels like it's a form of protection i can hang back i don't have to create a large profile i don't have to be that which i know i am and of course, that means I have to learn. And the only way to learn is to get in the proactive means. The reactive means is not a way to learn who you are. It all it does is it tells you what you don't want, and it tells you the kind of people you don't want. And the odd thing about that is that that's where your focus is, and that's what you tend to continue to attract. So being specific and being direct, that means that you have to be specific and direct in one area, not your judgments of others, but your prayer work about what you want. So being specific and being direct does not mean getting angry and telling people off or telling people what they need to do or they need to know. Being specific and being direct is becoming aligned with peace and, and expressing exactly how you want your life to be directed, utilizing the principle of peace or love or life or joy or any of the principles that you use to guide yourself. Be specific about today. I intend to live in peace. Today, I intend to express love. Today, I intend to be direct about my ability to speak as an adult to other people, irrespective of how they treat me. I keep coming from the principle of love, from the principle of peace, from the principle of joy. If you keep doing that, I guarantee you, you will begin to lift all the people around you. But initially, you won't necessarily notice it because you'll be taking a lot of hits from people, a lot of judgments from people when you initiate things and they may not work according to expectation. 
But as long as you're true to yourself and you have integrity, and those are the two big things, truth and integrity, I guarantee you, you will rise out of that. And the dreams that you have and the ideas that you have, which are all God-ordained, will become God-expressed and your life will change forever. That's what it means to be specific and direct. So let's go into prayer. Let's just know together that this power of God's presence is always in love, always expressing truth. And as I identify with that love and that truth, I know for myself, as I know for you, right here and right now, integrity and, and understanding and compassion and that which is aligned with peace. And as you express that greater peace, that greater good, your life now opens up into a more expressive and receptive uh, presence on the planet. You lift all the people around you. You heal every aspect of that which needs forgiveness, that which needs gratitude. You are now tuned in. You are now thankful. And as I release this word, that's the truth. And so it is. Amen. Have a great day.